Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Stax, Bowers, and Sotheby's Pogue number two. Uh, it's really good to have you all here. It was a great sale the last time around. Looking forward to another wonderful sale, masterpieces of United States coinage. And it really is a privilege to have this extraordinary collection uh, come to us. Uh, and uh, we hope uh, it will be a privilege for you all to have a chance to take these coins and put them into your own collections. Right in the center of the room, against the internet, $4,250,000. It's about to go, $4,250,000. Thank you very much. Fair warning at $2,200,000. Last call, $2,200,000. 1 million going twice. Last call at a million dollars. Fair warning. 1 million dollars. 900,000 going once. 900,000 going twice. Last call at 9. 900,000 to bidder 350. John, we've just concluded the second sale of the Pope collection. Tell me your thoughts. It was another exciting night. Uh, it's nice to be back at Sotheby's. Nice to be back selling Pogue coins. We had a, a full crowd, a uh, packed gallery. Um, the sale surpassed expectations, of course. The star of the sale was the uh, Lord St. Oswald 1794 dollar, which had received quite a bit of mainstream press attention lately. And that sold for just a shade under $5 million, which was its uh, uh, top estimate. So we were pleased with that. The uh, $10 gold pieces uniformly did very, very well. Were avidly competed uh, by floor bidders and phone bidders. The star there was the 1795 Garrett $10 gold piece. Uh, my favorite coin in the whole pole collection, an absolute gem, the finest known of the whole date. That hammered at $2.2 million. Uh, the 1795 Nine Leaves, a scarce and uh, somewhat esoteric variety. That was a surprise, uh, hammering at $900,000, so well over a million with the juice. Uh, the real surprise of the evening for me, though, was the 1798 Small Eagle 5. There's a whole generation of collectors who have never really had a chance to buy one. It's been 15 years since one's been on the market. Uh, this one's been off the mar market far longer than that. It once set a world record for any uh, U.S. federal coin ever sold in 1912. Tonight it hammered at a million dollars, so the bidders here appreciated its rarity. What may we look forward to in Pogue down the road? Pogue 3 is the next event. Uh, that will be happening uh, right where we stand, here in the gallery at Sotheby's in February, February 9th. Uh, the surface descriptions on those coins were completed today, about an hour before I came over. Uh, we will be featuring uh, Liberty Cap Half Cents, 1793 to 97, uh, 1793 Chain and Wreath Cents, Cap Bust Dimes, uh, the remainder of the Cap Bust Lettered Edge Half Dollars from 1823 to 36, uh, $3 gold pieces, a complete set, and the Fathead Fives, 1807 to 1820. A lot of gems, a lot of really neat coins. like this video, we're sure you'll love these three videos above, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Coin Week is the number one source online for all things numismatic. Visit www.coinweek.com to take your hobby to the next.